Aha, I found the correct button, guys. Uh, hello everyone, welcome to the shenanigans. It's, uh, Wednesday, my dudes. Uh, so today we're gonna be opening up some more Pokemon packs. Uh, I have quite a lot of Sword and Shield base set packs that have come from, uh, tins and other various collection boxes that I've accumulated over the past month or so. Um, I haven't really found a good time to open them, so I figure why not we'll open them today on stream. Um, and also there's a few, uh, Rebel Clash packs that came from some tins. Um... Yeah, so if you're new to the stream, new to the channel, I do, well, for streaming I do primarily Pokemon cards and, right now, Teamfight Tactics. Um, for my YouTube channel, I do a lot of gaming and some Pokemon cards as well. Um, some Warhammer stuff, but that's been a little bit scarce recently just because it's been hard to actually, like, find space for it. Um, Pokemon cards obviously don't take up as much space, so I've been spending more money on that than Warhammer, so sue me. Uh... But yeah, so we're going to give another minute or two here just to see if we can get a few more people on the stream before we start opening packs. Uh, let me get some links in the chat for y'all. So if you are interested in following oops, the YouTube channel, uh, it's right there for you. Um, I am trying to get to 1,000 subscribers so I can do the uh, partner program, whatever it's called, and actually start earning some income off of that. Um, same thing with Twitch. If you want to follow me here on Twitch, um, I am trying very hard to get to that... Uh, that goal by the end of the year hopefully um so that way i can start providing more content for you guys because um, that's really my issue right now is i'm doing the best i can to provide more content for you more uh more card openings more entertaining games things like that new new items that are coming out but uh just financially speaking it's it's kind of rough right now so um yeah so if you want to help me out definitely subscribe to the youtube channel follow me here on twitch um i'm using the obs instead of my OBS Streamlabs for this stream, because that's the only way I can get my card camera on. Yeah, I I certainly hope so. It's uh, 24 packs of Sword and Shield base set. I've yet to pull uh, the Golden Zacian, the Golden Zamazenta, the Full Art Marnie, or the uh, Hyper Rare Marnie, the Rainbow Rare. And those are the top four cards from the set still. Um, so if I could pull any one of those, I'd be very happy. Uh, but again, honestly, I'm just here to hang out and chill, open up some Pokemon packs, talk with you all. Um, so we're definitely happy to have you here, uh, in the stream. Uh, let's see here. Yes, yeah, so we got a couple people in here, so probably gonna get going here in just a minute. Um, I am trying to come up with a, a giveaway or something to do. Um, more likely it'll be through the YouTube channel rather than Twitch, just because I don't have as many, uh, followers here on Twitch. So if you want to be a part of that giveaway, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, the video... On that will probably be coming out on uh, next Thursday, so not tomorrow, but next Thursday. Um, I believe what I'm going to do is I've got a few uh, promo cards that I can give away. Um, just as kind of like a nice thing to do, um, and then also I have a huge stack of uh, I say huge stack. It's like 50 of the code cards um, from various tins and packs and boxes that I've opened off camera. Um, so I haven't used those codes yet. They haven't shown up in any videos yet. Um, so I think I'm going to be giving those items away. Probably what I'll do is I'll make that my 100 subscriber uh, giveaway. Um, so as long as you are subscribed um, by that point, um, I'll come up with a way of doing it. I know there's like randomizers that can pick a random subscriber um, and make them or give them the winnings or something. I don't know. I've never done a giveaway before, but I'm trying to do something to kind of hype up my channel, get some excitement built for my channel. So we'll see what happens. Ooh, pardon me. Uh, yeah, but, you know, Pokemon cards, guys, they're getting expensive. I was actually, <laughs> actually doing some errands today and I happen to be at Walmart. So I'm like, you know, I'll check just in case. And, like, literally as I walk up to the card section, another dude walks up and kind of, you know, sheepishly, like, turns away. And I'm like, oh, you're looking for cards, too? He's like, yeah. And we sit in there and talk for a few minutes. And it's just, it's rough, man, because there's a lot of people like me, like him, who are, you know, not serious collectors. We're just collecting for fun. But we just want to find some packs every now and then. And we're not finding any because scalpers clear off the damn shelves. Um, so it's really frustrating. And I was actually also looking for, because I guess General Mills started their campaign um, if you didn't know, General Mills Cereal Company um, partnered with Pokemon for the 25th anniversary, and they're going to have packs in some of their cereals, um, like uh, Lucky Charms, uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Trix, uh, Cocoa Puffs, things like that. Um, but you do have to look for, uh, and I don't, I don't have the image here, otherwise I'd show you, but you do have to look for the specific boxes that have you know the Pokemon branding on it. But it comes with um, 
there's two promo cards that are guaranteed depending on which boxes you buy. The normal cereal boxes come with the promo Pikachu card, um, and then the family size boxes um, come with a Galarian Pony Ponytail, which honestly I'd rather have that than the Pikachu. Um, but then there's also a pack of cards inside that contains, I think, three cards, one of which is a holographic promo, and then the other two are random Sword and Shield uh, commons, I think. Um, still, it's a cool thing. It comes in the cereal. Um, so yeah, to keep it, keep an eye out for that, guys. I know some people have already found them and opened them. Like I said, I checked my local stores here. I haven't seen any yet. Um, McDonald's is also doing uh, Pokemon cards in their Happy Meals. However, because of scalpers, uh, they've had to actually put limitations on stuff so you can no longer buy the packs individually you have to buy them via buying a happy meal um which i i support that honestly because one of the things i was worried about with that and i already i already announced that i'm not collecting those cards at all um because my issue is when you know parents or kids get their happy meal or buy a kit buy a happy meal for their kids the kid's not going to have any cards to open and that's, that's what it's all about, guys. Like, as much as I want to collect the cards, as much as I want to get the valuable cards and resell them, it's about kids having fun, right? So if people are going out and buying all the Pokemon cards from McDonald's, then the kid's going to get a Happy Meal and there's not going to be anything in it. And that, to me, is a very sad, disappointing thing. So um, don't be a jerk, guys. If you're going to go out and get cards, leave some for everybody else. That's kind of... I don't know how I got onto this tangent. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Yeah, you should you show up for a Pokemon card and you get some ginger ranting at you for half an hour. Welcome to the shenanigans. <laughs> okay, enough gabbing. Let's uh, let's start opening up some packs, guys. Um, so, yeah, so like I said, there's about 24 packs of the base set short, Sword and Shield, about four packs of the Rebel Clash. I'm going to kind of intersperse the Rebel Clash because I don't have as many. Um, so let's start with some of the uh, base set Sword and Shield. Um, so, again, I have yet to pull... Uh, the Golden Zation, Golden Zamazenta, or either of the Full Art Marnie cards. I believe the Full Art Marnie cards are actually the more valuable of the the four right now. Um, which is awesome. I love the Full Art Trainer cards. They're really, really cool. Um, and yes, especially because they have, you know, pretty anime ladies on them. Speaking of, if you haven't played Sword and Shield the game, uh, Nessa's other trainer card... Uh, here's the code card for you guys. Um, she has one trainer card that she gives you early on in the game, and it's like her official one. But then she has a second trainer card. This is out of focus. Sorry. Uh, I think that's better. Yeah, there it goes. Um, but she has a second trainer card that she gives you. That's, uh, it's nice. <laughs> uh, water energy. Hey, right off the bat, guys. That's a great sign. Pat on the back. Uh, we got a water energy to start with. That's a good sign, y'all. Okay, so we have Aurora energy. Ferrothorn, Crushing Hammer, Wooloo, Joltik, Salandit, Clobopus, Ghostly, a Reverse Pharaoh Seed, and the rare is a non-hollow clay doll. Hey, I'm not gonna complain, I got to guess the energy right. I have been having the worst luck with guessing the energy recently. Um, the past several openings I've done, I've gotten maybe one guess the energy out of, you know, 20 packs or so. Um, not a, not ideal, certainly. All right, here's the code card. Just making sure that's all showing up, uh, in focus for you guys. Two, three, and four to the front. Let's guess fire energy this time. And it's psychic. Somehow I always forget about psychic energy. Like, it's one of the originals, and somehow I always forget about it. Uh, so we got a Pokemon Center Lady. Also, what happened to Nurse Joy? I've asked that so many times right now. Like, what happened to Nurse Joy? Because, like, I, I started watching the new Netflix series. Um, and so Nurse Joy is back. And then also Officer Jenny. But, like, on the Pokemon cards now, it's just Pokemon Center Lady. Like, that's kind of rude. Energy Retrieval. Ferrothorn. Qfant. Baltoy. Salandit. A lot of duplicates here. Galarian Ponyta. Love that card. I think that is... No, okay, it is actually different art, if I remember correctly. Uh, Leonhart did a video showcasing some of the uh, General Mills cards, and he got the uh, Galarian Ponyta Hollow, and I think it is a little bit different. Uh, we got a Poltegeist and a Stonjourner. Is that Poltegeist? Oh, it is a Reverse Rare. Okay. So it is a Reverse Hollow Rare. I guess that's kind of a pull, right? I mean, I consider it to be something of a pull. I usually sleeve those. I'm making a mess over here. Um... 
Yeah, I was gonna say, good luck water. That's If you're new to the channel, water energy is my energy, uh, so water energy is always a good sign for me. Didn't pull anything in that pack, but, uh, you know, we, it's, we got a lot of packs to go. I'm sure we'll find something good. Um, we've got, oops, code card. Make sure it's in focus. Yeah, like I said, I, I have a bunch of code cards that I haven't used yet. I think I'm going to be giving them away here um, once we get to 100 subscribers. Fighting energy. Ooh, steel. That's another one I always forget. Duck Street. What's going on with... Hold on. What's going on with those guys over there? They are freaking out, man. <laughs> I haven't seen that card before. That's cool. All right. Oh, it's out of focus. Come on, focus. Pokemon Center Lady. Yeah, this app I'm using to... Uh, use my phone as a camera is not great guys it doesn't let the camera do any auto focusing or anything like that wooloo sobble i hated sobble guys you know me I, I love water pokemon so i always go for the water starter but sobble was just i don't know sobble was just disappointing man uh rye horn salandit reverse and the rare a drapeon non-holographic so far the only uh pull if we can call it, that's been a reverse hollow rare so not great oh thank you goo 3 sdu 29 that is a mouthful man thank you for following i appreciate that uh dude what's with that screen name though that is a that is a mouthful oops I'm trying to keep the code card uh discreet here because i know the uh color on the back kind of indicates whether or not you get a rare i don't want to spoil it for you guys but it's weird, too, because some packs, you open it up and the, uh, oh, wait, I did do the card trick. Um, you open it up and the, the code card is, like, you know, facing the same way as the cards, and on some of them it's on the reverse, so it's kind of weird. Uh, let's do Lightning Energy. Leaf. It starts with an L. It's close, right? Or is that technically Grass Energy? I always get that confused. We got an Ordinary Rod. That's the first time. No bead. Hitmonlee. Lee. Clobopus. That name always <laughs> always gets me going. Ghastly. We've got a Rookie D. Sizzlepeed. Snom. A Reverse Wooloo and the Rare. Ooh, a Lapras V. I have not pulled that before. That's actually really nice. Look at that. That's really cool. I'm happy with that, guys. That's our first actual pull of the day, and I can't complain. Let me sleeve it up real quick, and we'll take a closer look at that. All right, let's see if I can get it to focus. Yeah, Lapras V. Body Surf, Ocean Loop. That's a gorgeous card. I love Lapras. Lapras was probably one of the coolest, uh, one of the coolest water Pokemon from Gen 1. Um, I, I just liked that it didn't have any evolutions. It was just its own thing. It was kind of like, reminds me of a Nessie, you know, Loch Ness Monster, which is probably what it was based on, honestly. Um, very cool card, very good pull. Let's, uh, let's keep it going, guys. Maybe I'll get some more good luck. Yeah, right? I think water energy is my energy. Oh, God. Focus. There it goes. All right. Code card for y'all. And then we got one, two, three, and four to the front. Uh, let's say psychic energy, because I forgot about it. Oh, it's fire. Boo. All right. Vitality band. Haunter. I mean, the good news is there's no Charizard in this set, so I can't be disappointed by not pulling a Charizard. Because... Chinchu! That's one of my other favorite water types. Well, water slash lightning, which I think is really cool. Uh, Sizzlepede. Zigzagoon. Muna. Snom. Reverse Sobble. And the rare is a Cloister. So far, we've only had one Ultra Rare pull and one Reverse Hollow Rare pull. No actual Hollow Rares yet. How disappointing! Uh, let's open up one of the Rebel Clash. So the Rebel Clash, I'm still looking for the Phalanx V Full Art. Because uh, Phalanx, again, if you're not familiar with my channel or my Twitch, uh, I love Phalanx. That's literally my favorite Pokemon from Gen 8. Um, so cool. Based on the Spartans of Ancient Greece, uh, both in their color scheme and in their kind of personality fighting style. Um, I'm really hoping to pull that. I was told... Uh, that there will be a shiny phalanx in Shining Fates, which is coming out this week. Uh, my order should actually be here on Friday, I think, so I'll probably be opening that for a video on Sunday. Um, we'll see what happens. Uh, let's go with Fighting Energy for phalanx. Oof, Steel. Womp womp. We got a Medicham. 
beware beware always freaks me out because it looks like some kind of like frankenstein pokemon like they just took a bunch of parts from random pokemon and assembled it together uh, that was a speed energy a barboach arokuda stuff same thing with stuffle man it's like they just took a bunch of pokemon pieces and knit it together and shot some lightning at it to revive it there's a growith a reverse hatterene i believe that's a rare and a Milo Full Art. Okay, I'll take that. Shoot, that is a great pull. We're on a roll today, guys. Heck yeah. God, that's gorgeous. I love the Full Art Trainer cards. They are so cool. Man, centering on that is pretty solid, too. Maybe just a little off to the left. Look at the back. Yeah, the back looks great, too. That might be a graded card, guys. I might have to get that graded. Holy moly. Shoot, we're off to a great start. Yeah, it's not a, it's not my Nessa, but I already got her. She's actually at Beckett right now, getting graded, along with the shiny Charizard V and the uh, Leon Rainbow Rare. Um, no idea when I'm going to see those cards again. <laughs> um, yeah, if you haven't been looking at getting your cards graded, guys, just as a update, Beckett's uh, turnaround time is now about five months or so, or more. Um, yeah, it's a little bit frustrating. Um, the good news is they haven't charged me yet, so that's nice. But, um, yeah, it's just it's just a wee bit frustrating there that uh, I was expecting maybe a month or so turnaround time total, and it's going to be a couple more months at least. So it's very uh, disappointing, because I have other cards I would like to get graded. But if the turnaround time is going to be that long, like I, I, I'm just going to wait until the turnaround times simmer down a bit. But... Um, yeah, I don't know. Have, have any of you guys gotten cards graded recently? And what sort of turnaround times have you gotten? Because I know there's other grading companies like PSA. Um, I was just going through Beckett because I like the way they have like the uh, subgrades and stuff like that. Uh, let's go with uh, Steel Energy because I always forget about it. Ooh, Dark Energy. That's another one I forget about. That's all right. Oops, I'm knocking stuff over here. Uh, Citrus Berry. Corvusquire. Thwacky, Silicobra, Mincino, Volpix, Amuna, Roselia, Reverse Goldine, and the rare Non Hollow Sanaconda. My Sanaconda don't want none unless you got bones, hon. Huh? Sorry, that is completely unrelated to Pokemon. My brain does that sometimes. Like, you'll just go off on a freaking tangent, and I kind of have to just sit there and go along for the ride. Oh, my goodness. Let's see here. Come on, open it up. Alright, we've got more Sword and Shield base set. Yeah, like I said, I accumulated all these packs from tins and other, like, uh, collection boxes. Um, I haven't bought a full booster box of Sword and Shield yet, uh, base set. Um, just because I haven't found a good price on it. Like, I try to buy a little below MSRP if I can. Uh, fighting Energy. I said Fighting Energy already a lot. I feel like I haven't said it some of them. Uh, Great Ball. Galarian Lanoon. Rotom Bike. Mudbray. Hoot Hoot. Pinchurchin. Another Vulpix. A Nicket. A reverse, uh, is that a reverse rare? Nope, reverse on common Camerant. And a Morpeko, is Morpeko really a rare? Because I know that's like Marnie's Pokemon, but that's kind of a, it's kind of a weak rare if you ask me. That's weird. I know Morpeko had its own, uh, uh, like a tin, or not a tin, excuse me, a, a pin collector's box. I bought one of those and actually came with a Morpeko pin, but... I guess they were kind of expecting Morpeko to be the new Pikachu, but I don't know. It's just kind of weird to me. It's like a great value Pikachu or something. I don't know. Discount Pikachu. <laughs> Alright, we've got some more Sword and Shield base set coming at you. Alright, we've got Code Card coming for you guys. Ba-boom. And then we've got one, two, three, and four to the front. Uh, let's say Grass Energy. And it's Steel. Pretty sure the only pack I've gotten right so far was that first pack. 
but oh well, we've got a energy switch, a by sharp, Slazzle doing a dance, Nicket, Ball Toy, Chanshu. I do love Chanshu, Krabby, Mancino, Reverse Dug Trio, and the rare, hey, a Lantern. Like I said, Chinchu and Lantern were probably my favorite Gen 3 Pokemon. Um, I just, again, I, I love water Pokemon, and to have a water Pokemon that also was lightning was just fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I like, I like Pokemon like that, where they have kind of opposing uh, energy types. Like, you have, you know, lightning and water, or water and fire or something, or ground and grass. I don't know, I'm just kind of yammering. All right, more Sword and Shield base set. I'm really excited for Shining Fates, though. Um, I feel bad because so many people weren't able to get any Shining Fates at all. Um, like that guy I was talking to at Walmart earlier, he's like, yeah, no, I didn't get a chance to get any Shining Fates. I'm like, well, I just, I got lucky and got two of the uh, Pikachu V-Boxes, so I have eight packs total, but that's probably all the Shining Fates I'm going to be able to open. Um, I'm hoping it's going to be enough because I, I want to get that Phalanx uh, Steel Energy. Ooh, water, but hey, it's a good sign. Good luck for me, right? I want to get that Phalanx shiny. Um, I don't honestly know what else comes in there. I know there's a shiny Charizard VMAX, but I feel like my luck is never going to be <laughs> good enough to pull another shiny Charizard, but we'll see. Got a Double, Mudbray, Ponyard, Score Bunny. I do like Score Bunny and I like Grookey, but Sabo was just kind of disappointing as far as. Oh, that's a different Chinchu. I don't know if I have that one. We got a Frostmoth Reverse Rare. And a Drampa Rare. Drampa, Grandpa. Go to sleep. Oh, man. Alright, we got a few more packs from that first uh, stack there. We'll switch to another Rebel Clash after this. Oh, man. I feel like I gotta slow down. Going through packs too quick, guys. I don't have the money for that. <laughs> All right, we've got code card there. One, two, three, and four to the front. We'll say dark energy, because I always forget about it. And it's fire. Womp, womp. We've got a potion. Hitmonchan to go with the Hitmonlee. Galarian Lanoon. Goldeen. Yamper, the Electro Corgi. Skorupi. Kalabopus. Wooloo. A reverse Skorupi. And the rare is a Corviknight. I really dig Corviknight, too. That whole uh, evolution chain in Sword and Shield. It's a pretty pretty sweet bird Pokemon. Alright. Get some more Sword and Shield base set. Alright, let's open it up if I can. Oops. Absolutely massacring that pack. Alright, here's the code card. Ba -ba Boom. And we've got one, two, three, and four to the front. Uh, let's say Psychic Energy, because I always forget about it. Ooh! Ooh, pat on the back. That's two today. Oof. Man, I am Psychic. At least for now. Quick Ball. Mantine. Dottler. Goldeen Goldeen. Roselia. Ghastly. Ponyard. Slizzle. Ooh, I can't speak. Sizzlepeed. A reverse citrus berry, and the rare is a grap locked. Womp, womp, womp. We have not pulled a lot of car good cards today, guys. We've got two ultra rares, albeit one of them is a full art Milo, which I can't complain about that. Uh, but yeah, we haven't pulled any normal holographic rares. That's kind of bizarre. I mean, if you know me, my luck is all over the place, so who knows? Another Sword and Shield base set code card for you guys. Doing four more to the front. Uh, let's go with Lightning Energy. And it's Steel. I feel like we've gotten a lot of Steel Energy today. Got a Corvusquire. Oops. A Galvantula. Galarian Lanoon. Diglet Dig. Score Rupee. Hoot Hoot. Score Bunny. Oh, there's a nice Pikachu. A reverse Gossifleur, and the rare is another Stonjourner. Again, again, we have no luck with the packs. Let's go to another Rebel Clash. Still looking for that Phalanx V full art. I pulled the Phalanx V. I pulled the regular Phalanx. I pulled the Phalanx Reverse Hollow. 
but can I get the actual Phalanx V? Or the Phalanx V full art, rather. That would be the absolute bee's knees, as the kids say. All right, let's go with Fighting Energy for Phalanx. And it's water. Water's a good sign, though. Water is my energy. Hey, hey, speak of the devil, there's my boy Phalanx. He is a uncommon? Yeah, he's an uncommon card normally. All right, so we got a Masquerain. We've got a Nugget. I'm feeling good about this pack, guys. We got a Vullaby. We've got a Dreepy. Magmar. Yamask. Sir Skit. The Reverse Yamask and the Rare... Ooh, a Ninetales V. It's not the Phalanx V, but I will take it. So far, that's two pulls from Rebel Clash, guys. That's two for two. What the heck? We've had better luck with Rebel Clash than we have with all the Sword and Shield sets. Let's take another look at that Ninetales V. That is a gorgeous card, guys. I can't remember. I think I've pulled this one before. I've opened a lot of Rebel Clash. I can't remember, but hey, that is another great pull. We'll put that up there with Milo, and then, of course, we'll put my... My boy Phalanx up there as well. Uh, you know what? Let's open up. We'll open up one more Rebel Clash. Why not? And we'll save the we'll save the last Rebel Clash for the very last pack. How's that sound? All right. Yeah, we've been having good luck with Rebel Clash today, so can't complain. Got Rebel Clash code card for y'all. One, two, three, and four. We'll guess Water Energy. And it's dark. Boo. Alrighty then. We've got a Heracross. We got a Capacious Bucket, Turfield Stadium, Phantom, Bronzor, Toxel, Appelin, Darumaka, Reverse Appelin, and the rare is a Baroscuda non-holographic. Well, that's the first miss with the Rebel Clash today. But again, we've gotten we've gotten more pulls from Rebel Clash than we have from all these stinking Sword and Shield base set. I don't know what's up with that, guys. Oh, man. Mm -mm -mm. Gotta love me some soda. Keeps me energized, you know? Streaming streaming requires a lot of energy. I'm a, I'm very much more of a YouTuber. I can sit there, record a video, edit out what I need to. But, uh, yes, Twitch streaming, man, it's uh, takes a lot of energy. All right, we got a code card for you guys there. One, two, three, and four to the front. Let's say dark energy. And it's water, but hey, water is my sign. We've had some good pulls from water packs. We've got a lucky egg. Extra lucky, right? Doug Trio. A Salandit. Galarian Ponyta. Such a gorgeous card. Minchino. Sobble, looking like he's about to break down and cry. A Blipbug. An Ordinary Rod. And the rare is a Wabufet V. I gotta admit, I'm not a fan of Wobbuffet, but hey, it's an ultra rare pull. I will take it. So far, that is not bad, guys. Gotten two ultra rare pulls from a Sword and Shield base set, two ultra rare pulls, one of them being a full art from a Rebel Clash. It's not bad. Pretty, uh, pretty good, pretty good call there. Next pack is the best pull. Well, I hope you're right. It's gonna be. It's gonna have to be something good to top that Milo full art card. Um, we're definitely. Oops, that's going over there. Uh, code card coming for you there. Oop. Yeah, I'm making a mess over here. Oof, I need a bigger desk, guys. All right, so we got one, two, three, and four to the front. Uh, let's say steel energy because we've gotten a lot of that. Ooh, it's dark. I was tempted to say dark, but I feel like I've gotten that a lot. We've got a drizzle. Got a buy sharp. Evolution Incense, Diglit Dig, oops, ugh, come back, my cards are falling, Score Rupee, Hoot Hoot, Score Bunny, Pikachu, getting a lot of starters here, Ston Jr. Reverse Rare, and the Rare is a Musharna, no dice there, I mean, I guess Reverse Rares are technically a pull, I don't know if I refer, I don't know if I'd consider them a pull, but I think technically speaking, technically, they're a pull, uh, more Sword and Shield base set here. Let's see if we can crack this bad boy open. Ugh. Yeah, I've been looking around trying to find like a good deal on something a little bit more, a uh, little bit more rare 
than just like sword and shield sun and moon x and y but um honestly finding any packs like older than that is one it's very hard to find and two they're just stupid expensive uh let's go fighting energy and it's steel we've had like a lot of steel cards guys tonight i need to need to remember to guess steel by sharp oh you meant this pack okay i got you pokemon catcher haunter sizzlipede wooloo Krooky. So we have the whole starter gang. Oh, there's Sobble, speak of the devil. All I need is a score bunny in this pack, and I'll have all of them. Uh, Pharaoh Thorn and a clay doll. Boo. Not having much luck there, guys. Like I said, we have not pulled a normal holographic card yet. It is utterly bizarre to me. Like, we have all these ultra rares. I say all these, I mean four ultra rares, but no, like, regular holographic rares. It's kind of strange, if you ask me. Then again, my luck has always been strange with Pokemon cards. Like, my fir literally, my first Champion's Path opening, I only opened eight packs, and I pulled the, uh, pulled the Charizard V, uh, Shiny, which was absolutely insane. Didn't pull Jack Squat since then. I've actually, I don't know if you saw my video recently, but I basically gave up on Champion's Path just because the pull rates are so atrocious, and it's hard to find the packs for a good deal, but uh, let's go Water Energy. Oh! Dude, I'm telling you, the Water Energy Packs, they are the good luck ones. I think, Stealth, this is the pack you were talking about, man. This is this has got to be it. It's Water Energy, and I guessed it right. Metal Saucer. Quick Ball. Mantine. Mudbray. Ponyard. There's a Score Bunny. Nicket. Chinchu. A Reverse Drapion. What do we think, guys? What do we think? It's going to be... Golden Golden Zamazenta. That's gonna be my call right here. Golden Zamazenta. And it's an ore beetle. <laughs> that was anticlimactic. Yeah, that's why uh that's why I don't guess the cards, cause it's uh Yeah, my luck is pretty bad. Ore Beetle's cool though, don't get me wrong. That does seem to be one of the more rare rare cards, because I don't know how many ore beetles I've pulled. Oof. But hey, at least I got to guess the energy, right? Oh, man. Yeah, this is exhausting, guys. This is why I don't stream. It just makes me tired. Like, I've been streaming on Saturday nights with a friend of mine, and that helps having, like, that kind of, a uh, someone to bounce off of, but, dude, I'm just... I'm tired, man. Teamfight Tactics is nice, too, because it's very relaxed. Like, it's not a very, like, quick-paced game, because you basically set up your, your team, and then they fight for, you know, a minute or whatever, and you can just chill. Uh, Lightning Energy... Leaf. I keep meaning to say leaf. I don't say leaf enough. Energy retrieval. Is it leaf or grass energy, guys? I always mix that up. Because it looks like a leaf, but I think it's technically called grass energy. I don't know. Pharaoh Thorn. We've got a Heat More. A Grookey. A Mawile. Another Galarian Ponyta. Another Sobble. A Maractus. A reverse hyper potion and the rare Azama Zenta V. Okay. So again, we have yet to pull a normal holographic, but we're pulling quite a few of the ultra rares. I can't complain about that. I'm pretty sure I have pulled the Zamazenta V before. Uh, I also have a few of the promo ones from the tens. Um, very cool card. From what I've been told, too, these cards are very good for competitive play, actually. Um, while they may not hold a lot of value for, um, like, actual card value, the uh, the play people who play competitively apparently go after the Zacian and Zamazenta cards pretty hardcore. So that's nice, right? Looks like we got, ooh, six more, seven more uh, Sword and Shield base set packs, and then that last uh, Rebel Clash pack. Um, we're starting to catch up as far as rares go. Yeah, we actually just passed the Rebel Clash, but the top card is still that Milo Full Art. Um, so if we're going to be beating that, we're going to need, like, the Marnie Full Art or something like that, guys. Uh, Sword and Shield code card for you guys. One, two, three, and four to the front. Uh, let's say Dark Energy. Ugh, fighting type, of course. I was thinking fighting, but I'm like, you know what, I've said that a couple times, so I have to guess something else. Vitality Band. Got a Haunter. A Thwacky. He's going to whack you with his stick. Wooloo. Another Sobble. Like I said, guys, Sobble is one of the more disappointing water starter Pokemon, in my opinion. 
I mean, it's hard to compete with Squirtle. Squirtle was the best, obviously. Mudkip was kind of cool. Um, Totodile, meh, he is all right. Pinchurchin. Um, Popwheel, I hated too. Like, both of the newest ones were just meh. I'm really waiting for, like, a really cool water type. Maybe next gen will be a really cool water type. Rhyhorn. Bisharp. And the rare is a Mudsdale. All right. <laughs> Again, guys, I think it's just utterly bizarre. We have yet to pull a normal holographic rare. All we've pulled is the, uh, well, we've pulled reverse holo rares, and we've pulled ultra rares, but not a regular holographic rare. I mean, I guess I'm used to opening, because one of my last openings was Champion's Path, so I'm used to, like, having a, oops, a uh, holo in every pack, but... Yeah, it's kind of weird that we haven't pulled any normal holographics. But hey, we pulled Ultra Rares, so I can't complain about that. Uh, let's do four to the front here. We're going to say Steel, because we've been getting a lot of Steel today. And it's Dark. The other more rare energy, I would say. There's another Drizzile. An Evolution Incense. Salazzle. Another Score Bunny. I find it weird that there's two different art styles for each of the uh, starter Pokemon. Sinistee, Maractus. I don't know if that's how it always is, though, because I haven't opened up like a lot of Sun and Moon base set. Uh, Pikachu, Galarian Meowth, Vitality Band, and the rare... Hey, there we go, a Holographic Boltund. Okay, so we finally pulled a normal rare Holographic. I feel, I feel complete now. Now all I need is a Rainbow Rare. If I get a Rainbow Rare, that will... Uh, that will complete the set, because I've got the regular Hollow Rare, I've got the Ultra Rare, I've got a Full Art, now I just need a Rainbow Rare. Oh, oh gosh. Let me knock, knock over my cards here. Let me, uh... Oh, gosh. See if I can just copy-paste this. I'm going to put another YouTube link in here. Can I not paste into that? Oh gosh. Yeah, my keyboard's covered up by all the uh, empty packs, so it's a little bit wonky right now, but... Hey, there we go. Yeah, so be sure to follow me on my YouTube channel. Like I said, I'm going to do a giveaway once we get to 100 subscribers, um, so make sure that you are subscribed by then. Um, I also usually post the Twitch streams on the YouTube channel um, a few days later, just depending on editing and upload times and things like that. Uh, but I am trying to get to that 1,000 subscriber goal on YouTube because I would like to make money off of this so that I can buy more cards, obviously, f to open for the channel. Um, but then also, obviously, to help out with bills and things like that. Just because 2020 sucked really hard financially, and 2021 is not much better so far. Uh, PSA. Yep. Public service announcement. Just so you guys know. Um, but I do appreciate you guys hanging out. We've got, ooh, five more packs of Sword and Shield base set to go. One more pack of Rebel Clash. We're going to save that Rebel Clash for last, because I've had pretty good luck with that so far today. Sword and Shield base set has been kind of mixed. Uh, so we don't really... Uh, we haven't had anything terribly wonderful pull uh, from there as of yet, but we're getting there. Code card for y'all. Uh, let's see, we've got one, two, three, and four more to the front. Let us say, ooh, what haven't I said in a while? Lightning energy. And it's fire. I don't feel like I've guessed fire today, except maybe once. I gotta remember to guess fire. Ordinary rod. No bead. Too many bead. Hitmon Lee. Electro Corgi. Grookey with his bonk stick. A Q Fant, the copper elephant. A ball toy. Chen Chu, another one of my favorites. Ooh, a reverse rare Corvan Knight. And the rare... Hey, a hollow Cinderace. Pretty sure I've already pulled that one before. I think I have all of the hollow rare starters from this one. But that is a, another good pull nonetheless. Okay, so we are starting to kind of stack it up here, guys. Getting some good pulls. Ooh, this one feels weird. Uh, you might be able to hear that. There's uh, somebody doing yard work right outside. Yeah, that's definitely showing up. That's fun. The joys of streaming live, everybody. Good grief. Okay. I'm going to give it a second and wait and see if they move on. We'll see what happens. 
In the meantime, let me plug my YouTube channel some more. So I do Pokemon card openings on my YouTube channel, but I do also do a lot of gaming videos. I would love to do more Pokemon openings, guys, but again, if you're aware, Pokemon cards are really hard to find and they're also generally pretty expensive. Um, so if you want to help me out, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me here on Twitch. I'm trying to get both of them to the point where I can actually monetize my videos, start making some income off of that. If I can get there, I'll be able to do a lot more card openings and things like that, um, and also be able to upgrade my setup a little bit more. Um, I definitely need to get a new graphics card. Um, my 1060 is starting to show its age a bit, um, and also, honestly, I need to do a whole new build. I need a better processor. But that's all, you know, ways and ways down the road. Um... For now, you know, I'll just do what I can with what I got. I have a pretty decent setup currently. Um, but of course, you know, once I get my channel going more, get in some income off of it, I'll be able to afford, you know, upgrades as well. All right, so there's code card, sword and shield for you guys. We've got one, two, three, and four to the front. Uh, let's go with water energy, because that's my energy. And it's steel. I'm pretty sure we've pulled like every, probably 20% of the packs have been steel energy. Uh, we've got another Drizzile. Again, I'm just, ugh. I really don't like the water Pokemon for Sword and Shield, the whole evolution chain. Pokemon Center Lady, Zigzagoon, because like both the Grookey and Scorbunny, I think, have cooler, like, whole evolutions throughout it. Gossifleur. Um, yeah, I'm hoping next gen there'll be like a really cool water Pokemon starter. Yamper, Krabby, Hitmonlee, and the rare is a Whimsicott. Womp, womp, womp. Because, yeah, like, I always go for the water Pokemon starter because water is my type. And, I mean, obviously Squirtle was the best. He was the first. Always will be the best. And since then, it's kind of been hit or miss. Like I said, I think Mudkip was kind of cool because he had that kind of ground aspect to him. Um, Totodile was all right. Uh, what was fourth gen? Uh, oh, Piplup. Piplup was cool. The Piplup to Empoleon Evolution Chain was pretty cool, too. But, um... I don't know. Let me know in the chat there, guys. What was your favorite starter Pokemon from whichever generation? Because um, like I said, for the games, I kind of skipped like 5th and 6th generation, the uh, black and white, X and Y, um, just because I didn't have a DS at the time. Um, here's the code card for y'all. Um, but I played the crap out of the 1st gen, 2nd gen, and 3rd gen. 3rd um, gen was my favorite as far as gameplay goes. Just because I think they streamlined a lot of the process, but they still kept it challenging. The newer games, they like... I, I guess I can't really complain because I don't have as much time to play as I used to. Um, so they streamlined it pretty hard, and it's honestly a little too easy to like progress through the game. And then you get to a certain point where it's just like a brick wall. Um, did I do the card trick already? I think I did. Fighting energy? Oof, psychic. That's right. Um, yeah, and I just... I don't know. I haven't enjoyed the new game as much. Um, the expansion was cool, though. Well, yeah, beating the game, the expansion was cool. Um, spoiler alert, if you haven't beaten Sword and Shield yet, plug your ears for a moment. Um, at the end of Sword and Shield, if you go back to Hop slash Leon's house, he leaves a Charmander for you, like a level 5 Charmander, so you can train him up if you want to to be, you know, Charmeleon Charizard. Well, then, if you get the expansion pack and go to the Isle of Armor... Um, and play through that storyline a bit, they give you either a Bulbasaur or a Squirtle, like starter Pokemon, which is awesome. Um, so I was really happy about that, because, I again, Squirtle was my favorite, and I got to play through that. Um, you can unplug your ears now if you plugged your ears. Um, no more spoiler stuff. Exactly. I mean, that's the thing. Like, Squirtle is classic, man. Like, you can't beat him. So it's, it's kind of hard to compare anything else to Squirtle, but it's, like, just the, the newest generation, like the Sobble, Drizzile, whatever... It just, I don't know, to me it was disappointing, it wasn't great, I didn't enjoy playing with the Pokemon, like, he wasn't cool, he just seemed like a moody little toddler, kind of, and it just, I don't know, it wasn't fun to me. Like, Grookey and Scorbunny seemed to be a little bit more energetic, a little bit more personality, uh, Pinchurchin, Vulpix, I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm just a grumpy old man. I back in my day, we had Squirtle as a starter Pokemon, and he was the best. Um... But, you know, I mean, every, and the, th the thing I like about Pokemon, too, is, like, everyone can find a Pokemon that they like. And maybe it's not the starter Pokemon. Like, for me, my favorite Pokemon ever is Vaporeon. Um, just absolutely my favorite Pokemon. But my favorite starter, of course, would be Squirtle. Um, and I'm very biased, again, with water Pokemon. Like, water Pokemon are my jam. Um, so I'm very biased. 
Ooh, what is that? A Keldeo V. I don't even... <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that Pokemon before. Huh. Keldeo V. It's a water type. It's like a water unicorn thing. Alright, I dig it. That's another ultra rare pull, so I can't complain either. Holy crap, guys. Honestly, I think the pulls today have been fantastic. Like, we've we've done pretty damn awesome. Like, we've gotten so many ultra rare pulls, especially compared to how many uh, regular rare pulls. Like, we only had two regular hollow rares. The rest of the pulls have been ultra rares, um, which is awesome. I can't complain about that, especially, like I said, that full art Milo card. Um, I know the full art cards from uh, trainers are usually pretty valuable. Um, I don't know about Milo, but I know, like, the uh, full art Nessa, like I said, last I checked, she was going for, like, $30, $40 ungraded. Um, and like I said, she's currently at Beckett getting graded. <sighs> God forbid how long that's going to take. I'm pretty sure it's going to be months and months on end. Uh, code card for you guys. But I want my Nessa back. I want my Leon back. I want my shiny Charizard V back. Graded. Uh, one, two, three, and four to the front. Oh gosh, let's guess Dark Energy. I haven't said that in a while. Ooh, it's Steel. All right, well, I think I got like three guess energies so far today. It's a pretty pretty good for my usual record. By Sharp. Oh gosh, I'm burping. Sorry. Evolution Incense. Vitality Band. Cottony. Another Score Bunny. A Silicobra. Yamper, the electric Corky, a Garuki with his bonk stick, Zigzagoon. I'm confused on how the Galarian Zigzagoon is any different from the uh, original Zigzagoon, because wasn't the original Zigzagoon also dark type? Hey, and a Lapras. I don't know if I have that one or not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang on to that. All right, so we have one Sword and Shield left. One, uh, what you call it? Rubble Clash. What do we think? Do we think this is going to have anything good in it? Oh god, I just realized I'm lagging. Yeah, don't shake the cards on camera, guys. It lags the crap out of it. Alright. This is the last Sword and Shield base set pack. And then we've got the one uh, uh, Rebel Clash pack there for you guys. Let's not spoil the card here. Alright. So we've got Sword and Shield base set. Last code card for that today. We've got one, two, three, and four. Four, four to the front, right? Because it's Sword and Shield. And let's guess Water Energy because that's my energy. And it's Fighting type. That is quite all right. All right, guys. We've got an Air Balloon. Is there a Golden card in here? Is it a Full Art Marnie? Maybe. We've got the Pal Pad. We've got a Kingler. These are all cards we have not pulled yet today so far. Well, there's a Wulu, but Joltik, Slandit, Kalabopus. Ghastly. A reverse Santa Conda. I believe that is a reverse rare. And the rare is a non hollow center race. Womp, womp, womp. That's okay. Like I said, we've pulled quite a few reverse rares. Uh, we've pulled quite a few ultra rares, as you can see back there. Last pack magic, guys. Can we get that Phalanx V full art? The card that I have been pining for ever since I loved, learned about Phalanx and fell in love with them them because it's like five pokemon and one it's like a discount right okay we're not going to ruin the surprise uh we've got code card lost my train of thought there all right so we've got one two three and four to the front we're gonna guess fighting energy for phalanx because it's got to be right fighting energy it's leaf oh how disappointing that's okay that's okay guys it's okay oh liana i pulled her full art card too a while back um, don't think that one's worth too much, though. Luxio. Uh, Dracloak. Phantom. Galarian Farfetch'd. Squovit. Galarian Mr. Mime. Caterpie. Oh, gosh, we're already here at the Reverse Rare. Okay, guys. Reverse Rare Palpitoad and the rare last card of the day is a Greedent. Womp, womp, womp. Well, okay. Can't win them all, right, guys? Uh, Palpitoad goes over there. So, let me get the pulls of the day. Um, obviously, we got my boy Phalanx. He's not terribly valuable, but he is valuable to me. 
Uh, and let's go through it like this, I guess. So we got the Rebel Clash pulls. We got the Milo Full Art, which is awesome. I think that's my first time pulling that one. Very good condition as well. We've got the Nine Tails V from Rebel Clash. We've got a Lapras V from Sword and Shield base set. A Wabafade V from Sword and Shield base set. Zamazenta V, Sword and Shield, and Keldeo V. Boltund Holographic, and a Cinderace Holographic. Well, that's going to be it for the cards today, guys. Hope you all enjoyed it. What was your favorite pull from the day? Let me know in the chat there. Um, yeah, if you want to hang out a bit, I might game. I don't know. I feel like I lose all my viewers when I switch to gaming. Everyone's just here for the uh, code cards. So I might just game on my own. Uh, plus, I have to clean all this stuff up. Yeah, I'll probably have to be back later. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, again, be sure to follow me here on Twitch. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, I'm trying to push for that uh, partner program, both on Twitch and in YouTube. Um, yeah, that Ninetales is a gorgeous card, man. That is absolutely... Oops, let me focus on that. Yeah, that is a gorgeous card. I really am happy with the uh, the V cards. They're pretty, pretty damn sweet, but... Yeah, so we will... Uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Like I said, be sure to subscribe. It's going to help me out, and in turn, I'll be able to open up more cards for you guys. So it's a win-win situation, subscribing. Doesn't cost you anything. I know some people get weary when they hear the word subscribe. Doesn't cost you anything to subscribe, so why not? Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'll probably stream again on Saturday night, just depending on if I'm busy or not. Um, but that will likely be Team Fight Tactics or maybe Valheim or something. I don't know. Uh, but we'll see you all then, so take care. Bye-bye.